Is that Steve Harvey? Hmm. His career is really going down the toilet, huh? All right. Well, it's 2020, and you know what? People are still using Windows XP. Well, in this video I hope to show you just how usable Windows XP is in 2020. Alright, so we'll get away from all that madness, obviously. But, as you can see, it is January 1st, 2020. And I'm still using Windows XP on this old laptop here. It's an IBM ThinkPad R51. Um, and in this video, I hope to give you sort of a general idea of the usability of Windows XP nowadays. And a general kind of user experience guide. Um, I'm not going to go into any really complicated things or silly programs that you'll probably never use. I want to show you basically how it is like to browse the web, use different websites, and uh, well, you'll see. So, the first thing I have pulled up here is HTML5 test, which tests pretty much different um, capabilities of your browser um, to show how modern it is. It gives you a good idea of how capable it is compared to other current browsers. Um, this is the latest version of Firefox. Uh, Firefox extended support range 52.9. Um, this is the very last version of Firefox that supports Windows XP and Firefox was the last browser, the last uh, major browser that supported Windows XP and as you can see right here you cannot perform further updates on this system and that's because this is the last version of Firefox that will run on this system obviously Windows XP this scores 459 you can see there it's Firefox and it just identifies it as Firefox 52 um, 455 and the maximum that it um, that this website reads is 555 points currently um, and 459 is a pretty decent score this page gives you an overview of current browsers um, this this version of Firefox is I believe a couple years out of date um, as you can see there the current version of Firefox is 59 and it scores 491 this version is roughly comparable to the current version of Safari and the previous version of it actually scored lower than this browser from a couple of years ago so that's pretty good um, moving along here this version of Firefox actually supports the studio version of YouTube YouTube Studio which is the latest version of YouTube's website um, and that's obviously a great thing until I don't know YouTube likes to completely overhaul their website every few years so who knows how long that'll stand up um, down here I have the latest version of Chrome that supports Windows XP and it does not support YouTube Studio as you can see here I've got the older version where you go to youtube.com slash my underscore videos this is the 2013 version of YouTube um, and if you click on go to YouTube studio I'm not entirely sure what happens there you go we're a little out of sync YouTube studio doesn't work with your browser um, I'm not signed in on here but as you can see this is uh, the trending page there was some interesting 
I pulled up the home page, but uh, there were some interesting things on there, so I just went to the trending page. If we go over here, back to this, we can see, if I pull up the trending page really quickly here, you'll see the difference. Obviously, most of you can already see it, but yeah, that's the, that's sort of the older version of YouTube right there. So, I'll show you a few more things. Another thing is Adobe Photoshop and Windows XP. The latest version that's supported is CS6, which is still perfectly usable today. Um, this basically just means that Windows XP doesn't support the, uh, or I should say, Adobe doesn't support uh, Windows XP anymore with their Creative Cloud suite. But CS6 still supports Windows XP. Um, I'm still on uh, good old um, CS1 here, so and that's not activated anyway, so eh, it's not doing me too much good. Uh, but if you're wondering about the possibility of doing some photo editing and other th similar things that the f Adobe Creative Suite can do, just know that the latest version of Creative Suite does work with it from 2012, um, but you won't be able to use Creative Cloud. That's fine with me because I have Creative Cloud on my main computer and uh, constant updates. Ooh, nobody likes that, especially if you have my internet. Anyway, as far as Windows XP's appearance is concerned, that can be either a blessing or a curse, however you take it. Obviously, Windows XP's look and feel are quite iconic for most people. And uh, most people will instantly recognize that you are using a very old operating system. But if you're alright with that, then good, good on you. You can change it back to Windows Classic if you really want to take a trip back. Um, they also have these different color schemes here. And the silver is pretty popular with a lot of people that still use Windows XP nowadays. It's just a little different looking. So somebody that maybe isn't super familiar with it, they might take a look at it and not recognize that it's Windows XP. Um, but I imagine if you're watching this video, you'll probably just want to leave it alone and be proud to rock Windows XP in 2020, just like me. Oh, what's that? You want to do some video gaming on your Windows XP machine? Well, that is going to be a problem, actually. I was going to say it's not a problem, but it is, actually, because you're going to be limited to, of course, DirectX 9 games, which are very old, just such as Counter-Strike Source up there. But, if you're alright with that, uh, which you should be if you're using Windows XP in 2020, well, here you go. As you can see right there, selling my GPU for Steam levels. I got uh, 84 cents in the Steam account there. Um, Steam is working on Windows XP, believe it or not. Now, if you just go and try to install Steam, the latest version, just go and download it from Steam.com. Well, that's not going to work out so well because Steam stopped supporting Windows XP several years ago. I'm not even entirely sure when, but I guess I could find out by clicking this. But that doesn't matter because this old version here, which I downloaded from archive.com. Oh, well, there's a, there's a Netscape Navigator, which is my default browser. Um starting on January 1st, 2019. Hmm. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> they supported it until just, well, a year ago, as, as a matter of fact. As we can see here. Well, either way, um, obviously Steam stopped supporting Windows XP officially about a year ago, but I have this older version that I downloaded from archive.com, and it works very nicely. You're still able to sign into friends, and uh, if I wanted to, I could message one of my friends here. Uh, 
you know, I, I'm not actually going to message the guy, but if I wanted to, it does work and it is fully functional. You can go to your games library, you can download games still, um, which I did here with Counter Strike Source, and, uh, well, you know, if I wanted to play some Counter Strike Source, I could do that. But we're not going to be playing any Counter Strike Source in this video. If you want to watch me play Counter Strike Source on a really low end laptop from about a year before that game was released, uh, let me know and maybe I'll make a video of that. Could be interesting. And as far as your Office software is concerned, Office 2010 is still supported on Windows XP, the 32 bit edition only, apparently. Um, but, as far as that's concerned, I would just go with Office 2007 or 2003. They pretty much have all the features you'd ever want, um, especially 2007. I have Office 2003 right here installed and activated on it, which you can surprisingly still activate Office 2003 um, and Office products. Um, and as you can see here, yeah, still works pretty good. Huh? Didn't press too many buttons at the same time, but yeah, still, still works. Office 2003. Anyway, all right, now the big one. Is it safe to use Windows XP in 2020? The answer to that is no. It's not really any more safe to use this than it is any other version of Windows from Windows uh, whatever, 95 to Windows 10, and they're all about equally as safe. It all depends on how stupid you are and how how many rogue .exe files you can download. But anyway, as you can see here, AVG Antivirus um, still fully supports Windows XP. I've got virus definitions from one day ago. Um, co coincidentally, that is one decade ago, but, you know, we'll ignore the technicalities for now. Um, Windows XP, as far as being safe, no, of course it doesn't receive uh, security patches from Windows XP, but if you know what you're doing and you're just going on things like, uh, you know, uh, Wikipedia here, or uh, HTML5, that's a pretty safe site. I don't think they even have any ads on here. So you couldn't get yourself into trouble here, really. If I go to YouTube.com, of course, YouTube is safe. If you know what you're doing, basically, what I'm saying is that you'll be safe. If you're not downloading a bunch of weird stuff from Brothersoft and Softonic, you should be okay. And uh, now we have this. Mm. Mm. Okay, anyway. And to sum it up a little more clearly, basically with Windows XP, your safety is in your own hands, really. Um, you just gotta know what websites you're going to. Don't go on your email and click anything funny. Don't go to any funny YouTube.com websites. YouTube.com, by the way, excellent video by me a while back. Going to YouTube.com is a very interesting experience. But yeah, don't do that on your Windows XP machine, and you should be good. As you can see there, eh, it's not even going to go to it. Firefox knows that it that is not a very good website, so it's going to stay here on nice, safe HTML5test.com. So, as far as using Windows XP in 2020, do I recommend it? Uh, it depends, once again, on your level of knowledge of how to use a computer. Now, most people that are using Windows XP, they, of course, know... You probably know what you're doing. You're an experienced veteran of the Windows operating system. You probably used Windows XP years ago when it was the current version of Windows. And... Um, you probably know your way around it much better than you do old Windows uh, Windows 10 there. View your system information here, etc. Um, and maybe you just like the look and feel of it all. But whatever your reason for using it is, 
Uh, I wish you luck on using Windows XP. Um, for me, it's still completely usable. I've actually been using this computer for a while, this laptop, um, for some things. This one in particular isn't very capable, unfortunately. It's got a 1.4 gigahertz Celeron single core processor. And uh, as far as watching videos and stuff like that, that's not really going to happen. But um, it's actually very usable as far as general tasks are concerned. Um, using Office, of course, Office 2003 and such. It's still very possible with this version of uh, Firefox. It still supports most modern um, websites. I haven't actually ran into any problems with that thus far. Um, so that really wraps up everything I need to say in this video. Uh, if you have any questions about specific things, um, maybe I can answer them. Leave that in the comments. I thank you for watching this video. This is the CRT Productions. And check out the Discord in the description. Come and talk about Windows XP. Tell me what kind of computer you've got running Windows XP. Um, is it, uh, let's see, system requirements. Has it, uh, has it got a 233 megahertz processor in it? Hmm. Let me know. Might want to downgrade to Windows 2000, though, if that's the case. Hmm. Well, see you next time. Oh, yeah, did I mention that Discord works on Windows XP? Discord actually works in both the latest version of Chrome and Firefox on Windows XP, just in case you were wondering.